Our lesson for today is all about illustrating theorems on triangle inequalities. So let's identify first, or let's study first the inequalities in one triangle. Let's discuss first the theorem 1. If one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side. The longest side is opposite the largest angle, and the, short and the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle. Now, let's take have an example. Let's name the smallest and largest angles in the given triangles. So for number 1, let's identify our smallest angle. The shortest measure or the shortest measure side is 15 and the opposite angle to it is angle S. So therefore, our smallest angle is angle S. Now, let's proceed for our largest angle. The longest measure side is 17 and the opposite angle to it is angle Y. So therefore, our largest angle is angle Y. Now, let's proceed for number 2. Let's identify the smallest angle. The shortest measure side is 10 and the opposite angle to it is angle N. So therefore, our smallest angle is angle N. Now, for our largest angle, the longest measure side is 22 and the opposite angle to it is angle W. So therefore, our largest angle is angle W. Now, let's proceed for our second theorem. If one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite the first angle is longer than the side opposite the second angle. The largest angle is opposite the longest side, and the smallest angle is opposite the shortest side. Now, let's take have an example. For number 1, let's identify our shortest side. Our, uh, our smallest measure of angle is angle W, which is 45 degrees. And the side opposite to it is line segment EN. So therefore, our shortest side is line segment EN. Now, let's proceed for our longest side. The largest measure of, our, of angle is angle N, which is 70 degrees. And the opposite side to it is line segment EW. So therefore, our longest side is line segment EW. Now, for number 2, let's identify the shortest side. Our shortest... Our smallest measure of angle is angle Y, which is 36 degrees. And the opposite side to it is line segment JO. So therefore, our shortest side is line segment JO. Now, let's proceed for our longest side. The largest measure of angle is angle O, which is 90 degrees. And the opposite side to it is line segment JY. So therefore, our line, our longest side is line segment JY. Now, let's proceed for our theorem 3. In any triangle, the sum of the lengths of any two of its sides is greater than the length of its, of its third side. Now, for our example, let's take up our first example. Refer to the triangle on the slide. Its sides are labeled with measurements. Observe the relationship of each side. As you can see, if we add the two sides of a triangle, make sure that their sum is greater than the third side. For example, 10 plus 9 is 19, and 19 is greater than the third side which is 5 centimeters. Next, 
9 plus 5 centimeters is equal to 14 centimeters, which is greater than the third side, which is 10 centimeters. Next, 5 plus 10 centimeters is equal to 15 centimeters, which is greater than the third side, which is 9 centimeters. Notice that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. Next, let's determine if the given lengths of segments can be the sides of a triangle 6 cm, 22 cm, and 10 cm. Six centimeters plus twenty-two centimeters is greater than ten centimeters. So we have six plus twenty-two is twenty-eight centimeters, and twenty-eight centimeters is greater than ten centimeters. The inequality is correct. Next, twenty-two centimeters plus ten centimeters is greater than six centimeters. So twenty-two plus ten is 32 centimeters and 32 centimeters is greater than 6 centimeters and the inequality is correct. Next, 10 centimeters plus 6 centimeters is greater than 22 centimeters and 16 centimeters is not greater than 6 centimeters. The inequality is not correct. 6 cm, 22 and 10 cm cannot be the length of the sides of a triangle because the sum of two sides which is 10 and 6 cm is less than the third side which is 22 cm. That is, our, that is theorem 3. Make sure again that the two sides of a triangle if we add that if we add the two sides make sure that their sum is greater than the third side to, uh, so that we can say that the sides is uh, can, uh, can be the length of our triangle and if there's one inequality which is not correct we cannot say that will be the length of the sides of our triangle that is theorem 3 now let's proceed to our theorem 4 the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of the two remote interior angles. Now, let's take have an example. Consider the figure on the slide. Angle A, angle B, and angle C are interior angles, while angle X, angle Y, and angle Z are exterior angles. Based on the exterior angle inequality theorem, the degree measure of angle X is greater than the degree measure of angle B. The degree measure of angle X is greater than the degree measure of angle C. Next, the degree measure of angle Y is greater than the degree measure of angle A. And the degree measure of angle Y is greater than the degree measure of angle C. And last, the degree measure of angle Z is greater than the degree measure of angle A. And the degree measure of angle C also is greater than the degree measure of angle B. That is the exterior angle inequality theorem all about. Now, after we discuss the inequalities in one triangle, let's proceed now to the inequalities in two triangles. So we have the theorem 5, which is the hinge theorem. If the two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second, then, the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So, may we also be referred to as the SAS inequality theorem. This theorem is called the hinge theorem because it acts on the principle of the two sides described in the triangle as being the hinge 
at their common vertex. Now, let's take have an example. Let's compare the lengths of line segment RO and line segment BE. Given that line segment RO is congruent to line segment BE and line segment OE is congruent to line segment OE. Now, if the degree measure of angle REO is 28 degrees and the degree measure of angle BOE is 17 degrees, then angle REO is greater than angle BOE. Bahin's theorem, line segment RO is greater than line segment BE. Next, let's proceed for our second example. Let's compare the lengths of line segment TB and line segment RN. Given that line segment AT is congruent to line segment UN and line segment BA is congruent to line segment RU. Now, if the degree measure of angle A is equal to 96 degrees and the degree measure of angle U is equal to 87 degrees, then angle A is greater than angle U. By Hinge theorem, line segment TB is greater than line segment RN. That is our theorem 5, which is Hinge theorem. Now, let's proceed for our theorem 6. We have the converse of Hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. We can also be referred to as the SSS inequality theorem. Now, let's take have an example. Let's compare the angle RNO and angle CON. Given, given which is line segment CO is congruent to line segment RN and line segment ON is congruent to line segment ON. Now, if line, se uh, if line segment OR is equal to 29 and line segment NC is equal to 25, then line segment OR is greater than line segment NC. Now, by the converse of Hinge theorem, line se uh, angle RNO is greater than angle CON. Now, for our second example, let's compare the angle BER and angle ARE. Given line segment ER is congruent to line segment ER and line segment AR is congruent to line segment BE. If line segment AE is equal to 7 and line segment BR is equal to 5, then line segment AE is greater than line segment BR. Now, by the converse of Hinge theorem, angle BER is less than angle ARE. That is our second example. So I hope class you understand our lesson for today which is the illustrating theorems on triangle inequalities. Thank you for watching.